Well, welcome everybody to our online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And the topic is going to be on theories of addiction. I've met lots of people in the field who have uh, been quite convinced they know what an, an addiction is and how to treat it. Uh, some people even say, well, we already know, we don't need all this research going on. But in actual fact, we really don't have a solid grasp of what an addiction is. When you ask the question, what is an addiction? It depends on who you're asking. If you ask a drug addict in Canada what an addiction is, he or she will give you one answer. But if you go down to other places in the world, you get a much different answer. If you ask a neuroscientist, What's an addiction? A brain scientist, they'll give you one answer. Ask a psychologist trained in, uh, say, behaviorism, they'll give you another answer. Like, it's really quite remarkable. All these answers we have floating around. I remember reading Time magazine a couple of years ago in one of its editions and said on the front cover, why, what do addicts need, right? And they're gonna to explain to us in great detail why people become addicted. And they have the brains there and all the uh, neuroimaging. Uh, these are, uh, these are uh, pictures of the brain that we, we can now take with these great big pieces of machinery. And they give you one answer and they'll say, oh, this is what's happening. But even the neuroscientists disagree with each other on exactly what's going on. And a fellow uh, a few years back, five years ago, six years ago now, in 2006, a guy by the name of Robert West from uh, England. He collected all the scientific theories together and he put them all down and he, he included 30 of them. So I shouldn't say all the scientific theories because there are a lot more than 30, but 30 respected scientific theories on what an addiction is. And he, he started going through each of them. And he realized very quickly that what he had was sort of a patchwork of different ideas on what an addiction is, depending on the background of the person who created the theory. And he was getting kind of frustrated with all these different theories running around. So what he did is he laid them all out and he described them all, and then he came up with his own theory at the end. So we've got 31 theories now. Anyway, some of these theories are quite interesting. I thought we'd take some time and we'd uh, look at a few. So the first theory we can look at is likely the most famous model today, and that's the idea that addiction is a disease. Now, we usually look to this outfit called the American Society of Addiction Medicine to give us the definition of it, and last year they changed from just being a disease to being a brain disease, last year being 2011. They have made their official statement that it has now become, uh, become a brain disease. So what they're saying is addiction is rooted in the brain, and the popular theory today in, uh, in the brain, and not the only one, but the popular one today, is that addiction is a matter of motivation and all this arises from this uh, bits of tissue in that uh, dinosaur part of your brain in that uh, primitive part of your brain called the limbic system and some attachments into the uh, frontal parts too so this is the idea and and the modern idea is not so much that drugs are pleasurable which some people still hold on to by the way not so much that drugs are pleasurable but that Drugs uh, create this motivation in people, and motivation is different than uh, just feeling pleasure. Motivation can make you use drugs even if you don't want to. It can make you use drugs even if you've made this decision to clean up. So a lot of people now have uh, latched on to this idea that the, the reason that addictive drugs are so powerful is that they, they create this motivation, this, um, and what the scientists call a compulsion to use, even if you don't want it, even if you're not desiring the pleasure from it. So this is probably the most powerful uh, idea today uh, in, uh, in the neurosciences, in the brain sciences, on why people uh, succumb to addiction and why addiction, we, we can start out even being a social drinker, but at some point we get this uh, really powerful motivational influence. By the way, uh, probably the most famous theory in this, if you want to Google it or something, is, uh, is called incentive sensitization. So just 
yeah, if you want to get into some of the science of this. But this is the idea that addiction is a brain disease, progressive, and all those things uh, because of its motivational power, right? Even beyond pleasure and whether or not you want to, and expectations of pleasure, way beyond that, that you, it's almost a compulsion to use. Okay, so that's uh, probably uh, the most powerful theory available today. And we'll be back next time uh, with another uh, famous theory.